Hey, what's going on, y'all? Now, Lord, I feel put it on my heart to make this message because I've been reading these different myths about these kings. King Arthur, King Gilgamesh. Got the, all these different kings. And in these tales, there's a warning as they come to kingship, as they are kings, to watch their arrogance and watch their pride. Now, how does this relate to semen retention? Well, as you start to gain power, power from your own vital life force energy, you have your own legions within you at your command, empowering you in everything that you do. And with this power, more often than not, comes pride. It comes arrogance. It's natural for a human being, once empowered, to feel, you know, superior, to feel good, to feel better about oneself. Than others. Now I would caution you in this, because the Lord does not support pride. No action taken in pride is backed by the Lord. And even if you want to say the positive force of the universe, I understand not everyone believes in God. So be it. You don't have to believe in God to understand that there are forces at play in this universe beyond you. So, the positive force of the universe, if you will, does not support, does not stand behind actions taken in pride. Actions taken in pride and arrogance, that supports the opposition to positivity, negativity. You feeling like you're better than someone else, that's not a positive thing. You have to understand that it's a blessing you even understand this journey. You have to understand it's a blessing you even know about this journey. You even know about retaining. Because retaining is as a gift. The fact you even care to retain is a gift. The fact that you're able to push past the temptations, that you have the strength to resist the things that come your way to try and pull you off this path. That's a gift. That's a blessing. And a blessing used recklessly will just as quickly be taken. So this is a warning to all my men who have become empowered by retention. Watch yourself and watch how you perceive yourself when it equates to others, because if you think that you are better than these people, you think that you're you know, greater than them, just because you have some kind of power, that power can just as instantly be taken from you. Through emissions, through you, know, you falling to a very specific temptation that came just for you. Just for you, you know what I mean? Just, just for your weaknesses. We all got them. We all got them. So, understand that as you move through this journey, Pride, arrogance, will be your downfall if you do not keep it in check. The Lord has not given us this power. We do not have this power to begin with so that we can lord ourselves over others. We have it so that we can honor the Most High with this journey, if you will. And listen, again, you don't have to believe in the Most High to honor the positivity of the universe. How do you do that on retention? Well, you use your power justly. Ideally, you try and do something like this and help other men retain and, and reach this point, attain this point of retention. Because, again, our journey and really our mission should be to wake up the world. The world should be this powerful. We shouldn't be awarding all this for ourselves, using this to try and make us better than others, just, you know, off rip and, and, and exclusively. This, isn't, this, isn't, this is definitely a club, <laughs> if you will. This is a club, you know what I mean? And when you're in this, bro, you know what I mean? We're, we are in a, we are in a, uh, I was going to say a sorority. We're in this, you know what I mean? We're, we're in this thing together, essentially. We're in this together. And it's a very a select, elect group of men who care to do this. But again, actions taken in pride are not supported by positivity. Rather, you're working for the opposition. And the opposition controls all the world. The opposition is a source of temptations. The opposition is a source of all these things that will be trying to pull you off your path. Again, you don't have to believe in Satan. You don't have to believe in any of that. But you can believe that when you were cooming, when you were watching all that porn, all that they did, you were feeding yourself into, you were working for the opposition. You were sold by the opposition. On the side of the opposition. And even on this journey, the devil will do whatever he can to pull you away. And the first thing he'll do is get you in your pride. Make you feel like you're better than other people because you're on this path. Listen, 
You just know a little more. You just care a little more. That doesn't make you better or worse than someone else. And really, that person could be just as strong, just as vital as you are, if they cared to retain, if they put in the effort and the work, or if they even just had the knowledge about it. Man, I tell you, if I understood when I was younger, 15, 16 about this, my whole life would be different. And this is why I think it's essential to try and educate the world on this. You know, it's it's essential to try and help other people, to lift other people. Now, that's true positivity. That's truly working for God. That's truly working for the positive element of the universe, getting other people on this journey. But be warned. Arrogance and pride will lead to your downfall. All right, y'all. Real short one today. But I wanted to get this one out there because I myself have been feeling that pride, been feeling that arrogance. Not even necessarily that I'm on retention specifically, but even just, you know, as as I gain more power, I just start to feel just like that rah-rah, like, yeah, that's me, I'm that guy, I got that, I'm this, that, I'm that. Man, in reality, <laughs> without this power, we wouldn't be nothing, bro. You know what I mean? Without without the, the power of positivity within us, we wouldn't be nothing. We would just be like our old selves. And again, this power can be taken from us in an instant. By, through a temptation, through an omission, through many a thing. So, keep reverence on your mind. Stay humble, my friends. In this journey, will be the longest road you've ever traveled down. It's a never-ending journey. And uh, we're always learning things along the way. And I think that this is the essential, and if not the most pivotal message, uh, the, the most pivotal, pivotal um, you know, uh, lesson, that should be learned on this journey. Keep your arrogance in check. Keep your pride in check. And you will always be a humble king. A faithful, a good king. A steward of your own men. Whenever you step into your arrogance. Whenever you step into your pride. Every action you take from there is outside the boundaries of positivity. And <laughs> that road only leads to darkness. Alright. Take care y'all. Peace.